What's up, Anime Plus gang? My name is Jay Weston, and you're tuned in to another video. If you like the content we're posting, please subscribe, share, and like the video, and comment what you think down below. <laughs> so today's video is going to be about solo leveling, and specifically the first couple chapters of the book in Volume 1. Solo leveling is written by Cho Gong and illustrated by Dubu from Red Dye Studio who passed away earlier this year, so condolences to his family. This comic is really close to our hearts here at the Anime Plus, so I hope you guys enjoy, and here it goes. Chapter one's called Double Dungeon. It starts out with our guy, Sung Jin Woo, being introduced as the weakest hunter, and it's so bad that you feel you feel really terrible for him. Um, he's only doing this because his mother is in the hospital and his sister is going to go to university soon. As a weak hunter, uh, he's the lowest hunter, weakest uh, in the world. So uh, he's basically not that much stronger than a normal human being. Majority of this series is taking place in Seoul, Korea. So most of these hunters are Korean, but it explores countries like Japan and the US as well. Jin joins this party raid to go through a D-ranked dungeon. There's multiple hunters, but there's three specifically I want to make sure you guys know about. Kim Sang Shake, a D-ranked hunter. Lee Ju Hee, a B-ranked healer. Does anyone else hear that? Yeah, and it's getting closer. And it sounds an awful lot like. And Sung Chi Yul, a C ranked caster, to lead the group. So throughout the dungeon, Jin Woo gets hurt a lot, and Ju Hee has to continuously heal him every single time. And this is about the same for every raid that he goes through with her. But for everybody else, the dungeon is pretty easy to get through, so they don't see a problem with trying to go and defeat the boss. Side note, every dungeon in this series has a dungeon boss, and when they defeat the dungeon boss, the gate closes. They take a pole to enter the boss's door, and Ju Hee is the only one that doesn't want to go through, and that's important because that's a really uh, fundamental part of her character going on in this series. You would think Jin Woo doesn't want to go through this again and go through a boss battle when he knows he's gonna get hurt but he's doing this for his sister and his mother so be mindful of that okay while opening these doors you kind of get the sense of how big and how dangerous this uh boss battle will probably be because of the sheer scale of the room they enter upon entry you see these huge statues all around them and in the center is like a deity like figure that's even bigger they all notice a statue with a runic inscription. Um, this inscription detailed the Ten Commandments of the Kartanon Temple. One, thou shalt worship the God. Two, thou shalt praise the God. Three, thou shalt prove thy faith. But soon as they read the third one, Ju He sees the big statue in the middle's eyes just look over and, and scan everybody, which is very, very scary. <laughs> He's scared. I'm, I'm scared just thinking about it. Chi Yu reads the last commandment. It's pretty much those who don't obey these commandments will not be spared. So you really understand how ominous and how mysterious this the scene is. The vibe is very scary. All of a sudden, the door shut and you know shit is about to go down one of the hunters even tries to go through the door and as soon as he goes through that door two of the statues who are holding like spears or axes or something just slices his head off and you know everybody feels that and everybody looks at it in horror as soon as they enter jin Wu knows though so before all that happened jin Wu knows that this is something that they can't handle at least handle alone he has this feeling tells everybody to duck and as soon as they duck the giant statue just has laser beams going through and and vap vaporizes people that didn't duck and or didn't listen to him but he he's kind of deciphering the ten commandments and trying to figure out if there's like a trick there's another way to win or defeat the boss in the dungeon see you the leader of the party gets his arm beamed off in the process and he's suspecting that the boss is either an a rank or even an s rank and they kind of hypothesize that the god that the Ten Commandments are referring to is the statue right in front of them. And while this is happening, people are dying, getting fried, getting killed because they're trying to run and go out the door, not knowing that they're going to get killed. But Ju He, the healer, is supposed to heal people. She's not. She's panicking. She's a B-rank hunter in this D-rank supposedly D-ranked dungeon and she can't do anything. She's basically useless. Chi Yu and Jin Wu kind of discover that the Ten Commandments are rules basically for the dungeon to get past everything and make it make it out of the dungeon alive essentially. Pretty much the first commandment is thou shalt praise the God and praising the God pretty much means get on the floor. Okay so everybody's on the floor now that Jin Wu told to duck they're pretty much saved for now but they have to follow the second set of rules. This goes into chapter two. Chapter two is named Three Commandments. Opening back up with them on the ground, kneeling, praising the God or the dungeon boss. As soon as they follow the rules, you see the dungeon boss's face and it's an insidious smile that he has and it's, it's terrifying. <laughs> it 
it scared me when I see that panel. After that, the second set of rules are going to be in effect. So a lot of the hunters are trying to be proactive on how to kind of gauge what uh, what the second rule means. The second rule is praise the god so there's a hunter that comes up and he said he was in the choir so he goes up and it's a terrible scene he goes up to the the statue and the statue stood up so it's huge he goes to sing and the statue steps on him obviously that wasn't the right answer so he starts to kill people again the the boss i'm talking about and they all disperse and they go towards the uh statues that surround them most of the most of them go towards the statues that are like guardians and comes up with a shield or like a like a spear or some type of weapon but when you do that that statue kills you so seeing that they all go towards the statues with the instruments and they fulfill the second rule of praising the god during this massacre of everybody who didn't get to the statues with the instruments in time jin Wu was severely injured gets his uh leg cut off but juhi is there to save him and stop the bleeding at least there's an altar that comes down and everybody goes towards it and the flame is uh put there in representation of whoever's uh still around or still alive in this dungeon when everybody comes around the altar all the flames are uh ignited and if you don't look at these statues the statues are gonna come and you gotta keep your eyes on the statues pretty much uh but as soon as you know everybody goes to the altar the dungeon doors are opened so everybody's tempted to just run so one after another people go and run out the dungeon doors but as soon as you run out the dungeon doors, more monsters or more statues come into the center of the altar. So eventually it gets down to Jin Woo, Ju He, Chi Yul, and Kim. Kim leaves and that devastates everybody. So that's pretty much sends them to their death. But Jin Woo essentially sacrifices himself. You got to think that he doesn't have a leg. He's the weakest hunter. So, I mean, he feels like that he'll be sparing other people's lives that mean more than his. So he tells Chin Yul, Chi Yul and uh, Ju He just to leave and leave him there. He doesn't want to die, though, obviously. But, you know, he's being the hero. So as all the statues come in to kill him, right as he dies, a notification comes up and it says you have fulfilled the requirements to complete a secret mission. And it says courage of the weak. And that's where chapter two ends off. All right, guys, thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment what you think down low. And again, this is Jay Weston. See you guys later on another video for the Anime Plus. Until next time, peace out.